Well, good evening, faithful viewers of Canal de English. Welcome to this Friday's edition of Chill Out, and it's Chill Out for real. Uh, today's the day where we conclude with the story that we aired during the week, and we take, we draw conclusions uh, based on the different messages that you sent, your comments, and the advice that you sent to uh, take to help uh, the different characters in this story. Today, Everybody is beautiful, and we have a special guest. She's called Cindy Emade. Some call her Cindy Emade, but I call her Beautiful Cindy Emade. <laughs> and very soon, you will know why. And my co-host, Swo, is very beautiful today. And our chroniclers, too. Let's have this break. And when we come, we receive the whole crew. The break. Yes, that was uh, Ivelin Loom just sending us a shout out and Calvino. Uh, some of you know about this guy. He's very funny. He's uh, a humorist, a comedian, and he said uh, he was telling you not to stop watching Chill Out because it's actually the best talk show. Now, as I said, let us go and look at this first lady because we're going to have another one. That's our guest. But the first is Solange Tanjong in yellow, beautiful. Uh, the leaks team red as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Albert. Good evening. Hello, son. Oh, my intro. That's how I introduce. <laughs> you need to pay me for that day. Good evening, <laughs> televiewers. And thank God, it's Friday, like I always say. And yeah. like Albert said, we have a beauty in the house. These days, I don't know why all my guests are beautiful and intimidating me? these guys. But thank God, we have them to entertain you. <laughs> now, Cedric. That. Evening. Evening, Dad. So mom, how was the house today? Yeah, you meet your mom later on. Finish with your first time with Dad and the man in the house. So how are you? Great. I'm very good. Great, very grateful today. Uh, okay, yes, so uh, today is a wonderful show. What are we yeah. going to have? Um, Dad, this show is going to go very hot because mm -hmm. at the first part of the program we have the proverb, then we have the story and the column. Now for the third part, as you said, we should have this beautiful lady, the actress. Cindy and Made. Mm -hmm. And at the third part, Red Card, Red Card and Kudus, we shall be talking about sexual harassment. Sexual uh, harassment. harassment. An important topic, an important theme, of course, because uh, the story goes in line with uh, what we're going to bring during the, the Red Card and the Kudus. But I want us to go feast first. I want us to go clubbing first. <laughs> there is this lady, she's called Simi, and she sings for us uh, uh, Jorumi. Do you know Jorumi? Of course. How can you act? <laughs> and you I'm like very funny. teasing me. Please, can we just <laughs> chillax the mood of this program and forget about Albert? <laughs> Let's have Simi. Simi, Jorumi. Love 
me and i'm fond of these girls who sing for men you know uh, that, that's why i love daphne now i've got a crush for this <coughs> other one i wanted to make you jealous and i think As if i care <laughs> these days i don't care you don't care these days <laughs> these days i don't care oh, what has changed these days gone gone are those days that i'm like oh albert why this why that these days oh if you go for see me i probably go for big g mm. Mm. okay uh, can we have the proverb the proverb for this weekend it's an african proverb and it reads if you think education is uh, expensive try ignorance, ignorance. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Related to everyday life, uh, let me take a, a, a small example about somebody who did not go to school and when he wants like maybe to, to purchase a land, what can he do when he's ignorant? He has to pay every services, every legal uh, uh, counselor, and sometimes he is duped. So that, I think that's the that's the message they want to pass. Those Why who don't go to go school are actually far? very. Why yeah. even go that far? That is too serious for somebody that didn't <laughs> go to school. <laughs> have you seen Have you seen a situation where you ask somebody to write the name Jesus. and the person is unable to write the name? Do you know how wow. embarrassing that is? That is telling you it is more expensive being ignorant than going to school. You can pay your way through school, but can you pay yourself your way through that embarrassment? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. It's really difficult for somebody. Probably you're sitting with a chick, and the chick is like, Albert, can you spell your name for me? No, this is not my like, neighborhood. No, please, write <laughs> it for me. <laughs> where, where does the sun set to say this is not my neighborhood? No. Mm, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this proverb? I think that it how do you interpret? I can all interpret it for school. Mm -hmm. School. If you don't, if you, if you never go to school, you never know how to write anything. So uh, I mean, school is the base of everything in yes. life. So at Come the on, end, guys. At, at the, the end, end of the day, it's not all about school. <laughs> Common sense is not taught in schools. <laughs> so please, <laughs> let's forget about school. So mom, nowadays, nowadays, even how to go with a chick, like. Go out with a girl. Mm -hmm. School. Is there a school for that? Yeah, there's some schools for that. Uh, to to learn, like, where we to learn, learn how to 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 chat to up girls. To chat up girls. Yeah, there's schools for that. I beg. Stop. I that think one. I need to admit <laughs> Albert into that school. <laughs> oh. No, I'm. I'm the, try that. In wooing ladies, I'm the best. Come on, take notes. <clears throat> I give you the lesson. So Preserve. now one let one us one have one. the story. The same story went out or it went round throughout the weekend. Many of you sent us text messages. Some commented in the Facebook page, and Solange was like, Whoa, I can sleep. Messages upon messages. She has for around 500 messages, <laughs> and we'll be <laughs> reading the messages as uh, the program unfolds. But I want us to have the story so that for those who are just catching in this program, all those uh, who uh, just discovered Chill Out just know all what we're talking about this week or what we're talking about uh, this uh, whole week so that you can send us your comments the number is there on the screen our facebook page chill out for real too is there you can keep on sending your text messages so i think we should have the story rita is a 17 year old student in a private school at Baleng. she has been experiencing threats from her geography teacher mr abesu who wants a relationship with her? This little girl turned down his request, and with his power and authority over her, he has been punishing her by failing her in his subjects, 
Meanwhile, she is not a child with record of failure. Though Mr. Abeso has been failing Rita, she still stood her ground against the relationship. But now his obsession for her and desire to get her by all means pushed him to extend his malice towards her by engaging other teachers to fail her. To make things worse, he threatens to do worse if she doesn't heal to his demands. And if she mentions it to anyone, she is worried and doesn't know what to do. What advice can you give Rita? Do worse if she doesn't heal to his demands. And if she mentions it to anyone, she is worried and doesn't know what to do. What advice can you give Rita? That is the story. What advice can you give to this uh, lady? She's actually in a very embarrassing situation. Now, uh, I think we have some messages there. We yeah, a lot of you guys complain week. we're not reading your messages. But seriously, guys, these messages are just too many. If we don't read your messages, it's not like we're not reading it. It's just because we are reading those that came in first. So today I'll just mention some of the names of those that participated on the last episode. Stanley Epi from Tombe sent a message, Akintola Tebo, Valerie in Bafusam, Clarice from Kumbo, Kilian from Limbe, Rosaline from Kumbo, Tanto Justine from Bonaberry, Dwala, Willie Broad from Kifen, Annabelle from Bamenda, Clovis from Bamenda, and Mami Jane from Limbe. Thank you all for participating. And keep the contributions coming as we will be reading them as time goes. This message just came in. It says, thanks for that Simi music. I love her song, Siri, Serial from Kumba. Mm -hmm. This other one says, please, where, oh, where is the magazine located? It's the <laughs> studio. <laughs> okay, thanks for participating. This one says, good evening to you all in the studio. Let her be frank with the teacher, and the matter is something serious. Let the girl don't. Let the girl not laugh about it. The rest of her, I'm sorry. Please write your messages in a way that we can better understand them. This one is coming from Tebo from Limbe. He says greetings to all in the studio. Just set a trap and deal with that teacher. This other one says, the teacher should stop disgracing other teachers. Rita should report to her parents from Valerie in Bafusam. Thanks for watching yeah. from Bafusam. Thanks for watching. I think uh, we'll stop there. Please no, don't call, send don't just call, send messages. Don't call, send messages. We'll be reading them. Okay. I think uh, we're going to go to the colors. Let's have our generic for color. And when we come back, we're going to pick at random what will be the color of this weekend. Well, uh, as I said, we're going to choose at random the, the color that's going to be the color of the weekend. And uh, I have this little, uh, how do they call it? <laughs> 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 a dish or what? What the Ngambe oh. people use in it? <laughs> so you're going to choose. Who's, who's the, who's the one to choose? The sun first. No, the, we choose just one. Yeah, the best the sun first. Okay. Then take one color. Okay, then you read it. Orange. Okay, so the color is going sure. to be orange. Yep. Very orange. Okay, orange. orange color. Orange color for the weekend. So, uh, do you have an idea of what orange represents? Any attributes of orange? Mom is wearing orange. No, uh, no. Do I'm you know any? Orange. I did not ask. Do you <laughs> know any attributes? <laughs> any attributes? I'm coming to you very soon. No, I'm any ready for you. Any attributes of orange color? Uh, then, seriously speaking, no, I don't know. Any attributes of yellow? You have orange, right? Orange, not you. yellow. Yeah, orange. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. orange. He has an orange color before him. Mm -hmm. Now, any attributes of orange? 
Orange is all positive. It brings brightness. Mm. It uh, brings out the boldness of a dull person. If you're that kind of person that is calm, putting on orange boosts your courage. Yeah. That's what I know about orange color. Okay, Vanessa will yeah, tell us more. Let's have the color <laughs> always. He is good at escaping <laughs> that. <laughs> Let's have the orange color. It's a blend of Orange is a blend of the color red and yellow. The color orange is associated with meanings of joy, warmth, heat, sunshine, enthusiasm, creativity, success, encouragement, change, determination, health, happiness, fun, sexuality, freedom, and enjoyment. Orange promotes a sense of general wellness and emotional energy that should be shared, such as compassion or passion. Orange will help a person recover from disappointments or a wounded heart. While made up of red and yellow, it carries less aggression and fierceness than the color red due to its combination with the calming yellow color. The color orange has very high visibility and uh, is often used to gain attention. Are you just joining us? And then let me remind you, you are on Chill Out. And what do we talk about? We bring those solutions to those problems that have been bothering you all year, all season. Any time of the day that you have a problem and you just feel like reaching out to somebody, contact the numbers on our screens or just send your problems to our Facebook page and we'll be there to attend to you. More messages are coming in and this one says, let Rita meet a counselor and she should gather her facts and meet her principal. If it doesn't go well at that level or the principal, she should meet a counselor. If the man is married, let Rita meet his wife. That is something serious. <laughs> okay, this other one says, Good evening in the studio. I will advise her to talk to her friends about it. Let them come together, set a trap so they get evidence, and then report him to the school officials. Thanks for your contributions, and please remember to sign your messages. This one says, Hi to you all in the studio. I believe that school has an authority in which Rita can report about her harassment or better still report to her parents in Lekondo Hang Hawkins in Boyer. Thank you for watching. Let me take this one. It says, I am Money Joe from Chico. I uh, strong believe, uh, I strong believe, I just read it as you said, <laughs> so that you should see exactly what you write to so make sure that uh, you should be careful. I am Money Joe from Chico. I strong believe my teacher cannot fail me in any exams because I'm aware of what I'm doing and I will prove him beyond res reasonable doubt. I will uh, bring down the questions and my notes for the subject to prove. So she thinks, uh, or he thinks that uh, she should stay at that school, that there's no need of going to, or leaving the school to going somewhere Thank else. Thank God, it's a private school, like it's somebody school. earlier said. It's a private school. Reporting to the principal or the proprietor of that institution would go a long way in helping Rita. Yes, and Epo C here says, uh, if it's me, I'll go home and report to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's the solution. And like okay. I said, I'm a mom, if that's my daughter. <laughs> oh, I trust <laughs> you. Well, I, I trust you. Okay, <laughs> as we said, 
In the second part of this show, we're going to receive our guest. I call her beautiful, and Solange calls her Cindy A. Mali. She is an actress. She is a, she's a producer. She is a brand ambassador. She is what many crowds. She is a model. She, she is, is model. everything in one package. But definitely not forgetting the brain part because she can't be all that without brains. So don't you get get don't get confused with her beauty because she's beauty with brains. Yeah. So I think you will tell us more about her. Well, I think we should have a play. A play and then of her pictures. You see how beautiful, how wonderfully beautiful this girl could be. Please don't collapse like somebody <laughs> once said, please. <laughs> Entertainment was created in 2015 with objective of bringing a new and more professional touch in Cameroon movie productions and other aspects in Cameroon entertainment industry. Founded by Cindy Emade, a professional actress, producer, and philanthropist, Blue Rain has a series of productions among which Rose on a Grave and A Man for the Weekend are amongst. Other, other than its own movies, Blue Rain has co-produced other movies, TV shows, and organized events with other production houses in and out of Cameroon, with its latest production being A Man for the Weekend, about the event for a man for a weekend. A Man for the Weekend movie premieres is one of a kind celebrity red carpet event in Douala, and Yaoundé, it would host a lot of international celebrities from USA, UK, Nigeria, Ghana, and South Africa. That is, wow, that's wonderful. So as I said, she has many crowns. So I would like us to receive Cindy to come, Cindy tell, to us come tell us about more this about man for the weekend. Her. So Cindy, please, can you just come? Seriously, I'm looking for a man for the weekend because <laughs> I can't manage Albert. He's not... Can we have Cindy taking her seat? <laughs> <laughs> I think I should. Uh, I should have a kid. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't even go no, there. No, no, she is jealous. She's don't jealous. Even no, go I, will, there. I will see. I will take. I will seize this opportunity to have my pet. Cindy, you're welcome to Thank chill you. out. Can, can I have uh -oh. one? Of course you can. Did you get that? Oh. I got it. Okay. Let me. Let me uh, have you. Cindy, <laughs> high five. <laughs> You're welcome to Thank chill out. You. Hope the seat is comfortable enough. Comfortable. I mean, the set is amazing already. I just couldn't wait to get on this set. Okay, well, thank you very that's much. That's good to hear. Uh, happy to have you. So, uh, Cindy, we have a little game. We have things we want you to do, <laughs> and we hope you're just going to appreciate it. So, that was a brief, a brief, um, that's a summary of... Uh, the show, how it's going, when it's going to be, and you're going to tell us more about that. But I want us to do something. I call this lot. It is. It was done especially for you, and it <laughs> is called a story for a picture. So wow. you will evaluate yourself because we're going to air some pictures. <laughs> you will tell us one or two things on those pictures. Where was that? Why? What was the location? So. Okay. Are you ready? Because you're going to evaluate yourself. It's at least mm. one, 30, 1 minute 30 seconds. <laughs> so for each picture, you have at least 20 seconds to tell us more about the pic. Okay. Can we have it there? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> done for love it was actually meant to spread love and to speak love in different dimensions Whoa. so love is not only about romance but love is sexy that Second. was um <laughs> my outdoor shoot for um a project coming up my africa so it was to show the streets and africa how beautiful it is there were lots of shots that came after that okay um that was at um, a fashion event a uh, louise fame fashion show and i was dressed by africa shops <laughs> Ooh, oh, that was my <laughs> glitz award look 
Glitz Awards in Ghana. I was presenting an award and um, I was dressed by a Ghanaian designer. My whole glam team was from Ghana. Yeah, that's the lovely Jocelyn Dumar standing right next to me on the Glitz Awards. She actually won Best um, Most Stylish Movie Star of the Year. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's um, <laughs> the day I was handed the award for Best Cameroonian Actress by Scopes Award. And that was the director of the series Rumble that's passing on. And that is um, one of the organizers of the award, Scopes Award. It actually was a surprise. Oh, and that's Celeza. That's um, one of the billboards for Celeza Shower Gel. Okay, time out. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get her? <laughs> she's good at what she can does. We, can we have her on the screen? Can you have all of us on the screen? <laughs> yes, thank you very much. And uh, if I tell you to validate <laughs> yourself on 20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on 20. Yeah. Mm. I'll give myself 19.99999. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's for Cindy. But from me to her, it's a 20 on 20 because oh. she didn't take her breath. She knew every picture. She understood where she <laughs> took it and why she took the picture. So from me to Cindy, it's 20. Yes, now. And I you, Albert? I have the. Uh, for me, I think she was just perfect. I gave, 30, you, 20. I gave you 21 and 20. I thought oh. as much. <laughs> I told as much. <laughs> okay, I'll ask the well, first. I'll ask the first question. That's the one going uh, to my head. My uh, I've been bringing up on this before. You <clears> ask <throat> your uh, more interesting or important uh, wow. because you're always very serious with you. <laughs> okay, I want to know a man in your life. Yes. <laughs> so you can continue. Did you do that? <laughs> okay, how is he? He's amazing. One of the most special people in my life right now, aside my mom and some other lovely people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know how it is. We're just taking it a step at a time, and of course, we're keeping it private. Is he a Cameroon? Albert! American, Albert! Ghanaian, Albert! Ghanaian. Oh. Well, thank you, Albert, and <laughs> thank you, Cindy, for giving him an honest <laughs> answer. What the hell is he can be my brother or one of my cousins? <laughs> just come out straight. <laughs> Cindy is taken, so please forget it. Anyway, moving forward, we appreciate Cindy for accepting and being here on Chill Out. We know she's quite busy with her projects. Either she's on this set, either she's producing, or she's modeling, or she is carrying out her ambassadorial duties. But thank you, Cindy, for being here. And like Albert started, I'd like to ask you a single question about your personal life before we go <laughs> talking about the man for the weekend. Okay. So what will be your characteristics of a perfect man? Make him more jealous. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> a perfect man to me is one who is most understanding because probably on a personal side, I think I consider understanding people a very vital part of life because um, to me, it's a foundation for love, for happiness, for trust and harmony. So my perfect mind to me is one who listens, who understands and who is willing to share and be there for you no matter what. Thank I think God it embodies Albert everything. None of those. That's what so you say. moving yes. forward, so why, how, how did you get married to me? How can you explain this? Management. <laughs> Well, moving forward, let's hear from Cindy about the premiere for A Man for the Week. And how did that initiative come about? Because it's huge. Yeah. Like, seriously, when I look the at the name you, itself, besides the, <laughs> the name, <title. laughs> besides the name, when you see what she has put in to bring that film to life, yeah. and then looking at her size, you say, ah. <laughs> Mama, is it that is the project that is draining you or what? Because seriously, it's huge. And I must say kudos to that, sis. Oh, so tell you. us about a man for the thank weekend. Thank you. A man for the weekend already first is um, a comedy romantic movie. And um, we um, got started with the story 
with um, certain aspects of life and trying to show how certain things that happen in life, not only um, violence in marriages, but how people are forced to make certain choices because of marriage. So um, we shot the movie in Douala and it was a cast with between Cameroon and Nigeria and of course we're trying to cut across the Nigerian market so we got um, our darling Alexa Kubo on this project and I was trying to get someone who's not only commercial but talented so yes Alexa Kubo amongst others who were on my list and I finally said it on him because he was so interested in it and he was like oh Cindy let's do this it's amazing I love the story guess what I want to do this movie in Cameroon and sure and he got on board and we did it with an amazing cast from Cameroon of course Chief of Valerie, Solange Ojong, Miss Lee and my amazing director Ashir Briz who brought the vision we had for this movie to life and of course what better way to sell it to the world than making a big premiere mm -hmm. for the country and the world because we'd also be taking the premiere to the US to the UK and of course in Nigeria so yes um, the premiere we put the dates and here we are yeah but I, I still stick on this question uh, why the choice of that title a man for a what inspired you to take that one that that's that particular uh, title a man for a week and <laughs> <laughs> Man for the weekend. Well, a man for the weekend. Um, it was inspired by the story itself, I'd say, and from daily experiences. You know, it's one of those stories that you make a decision for a day, and it turns out to be something for a lifetime. So we were like, okay, what is that title so that's gonna come and suit a specific period? But then it extends all the way to the end. So we're like, okay, not a man for the day, not a man, <laughs> but a man for the weekend. <laughs> and viewers will end up saying that, okay, this man wasn't just for a weekend. It'd probably be for a day probably be tomorrow or for a lifetime so well i know you're a diverse lady you're here you're there you're just everything but today is all about a man for the weekend tell us how we can get our tickets where we can get it because i remember yesterday putting it on my status and somebody was asking how can i get the ticket oh. i need to get it for me and my husband and i was like <laughs> oh please i'm not so certain so it's an opportunity for you to tell them how they can get their tickets oh um the tickets are found um, already at the venues, Canal Olympia and Hilton Hotel. And for those in Boya, we have them at Linus and um, Las Vegas. For those in Limbe, we have them at Easy Shop. And for those in Douala, we have them at Boulangerie Menu and Zippo. Mm -hmm. I will also want no, to you have your that. contact there. Yes. Uh, I will tell our wonderful technicians to put the contact there. They have it there. But I would like us to do another game. You know, I like <laughs> playing. Uh, we're going to air a story, and you will tell us. You'll give your points of view because actually we're taking conclusions mm -hmm. on this story. And I know your fans out there would like to know what can a beautiful lady like this say, an enterprising <laughs> girl like you. What can you say? What will she say on this story? So I think we are going to put the story, and you, if you're attentive. You grasp uh, knowledge or you know, uh, know exactly what he's talking about, then you give your point of view. Can we have the story, please? Rita is a 17 year old student in a private school at Baleng. She has been experiencing threats from her geography teacher, Mr. Abesu, who wants a relationship with her. This little girl turned down his request and with his power and authority over her. He has been punishing her by failing her in his subjects. Meanwhile, she is not a child with record of failure. Though Mr. Abeso has been failing Rita, she still stood her ground against the relationship. But now his obsession for her and desire to get her by all means pushed him to extend his malice towards her by engaging other teachers to fail her. To make things worse, he threatens to do worse if she doesn't heal to his demands. And if she mentions it to anyone, she is worried and doesn't know what to do. What advice can you give Rita? She doesn't heal to his demands. And if she mentions it to anyone, she is worried and doesn't know what to do. What advice can you give Rita? Yes, as I said, uh, today uh, the theme is going to center around <laughs> sexual harassment because that will also go uh, in line with our red card today. So that is the story. A lady, uh, a student has been harassed or sexually uh, harassed or assaulted by um, her, her teacher team. who says he's going to give her field marks if she fails to, uh, to answer to his request or to accept his request. And uh, she does not know what to do because actually it's like 
with the colleagues with his other colleagues he's actually been failing rita yeah and because rita rita has stood her grounds that she isn't going to have a relationship with him he has now decided to partner with his partners in crime who are other colleagues to fail rita in other subjects and she's not a child with records of failure mm -hmm. so rita is worried and then with the threats she's afraid that should she report or should she just keep it to herself? A lot of contributions have been coming in, but coming from beautiful Cindy, like <laughs> Alan says, would be something different. <laughs> well, I think, um, what's her name? Rita. 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 I think um, little Rita should definitely report this to the authorities. It's really sad that um, wherever this this story is coming from, probably in Africa, I'll generalize it. We really don't have associations or um, parties that hold... Um, that hold such um, activities, you know, that can stand up for people probably sexually abused or, I mean, violence, you know. But then starting with school, because it's school already, she should report to the authorities. And by the way, they've been failing her already, which she is not used to. So the very first thing she should do is to be bold enough to walk up to an authority who is way higher than the teacher and report and see what happens and next. it's a private institution. Okay, can, can we give a, a hand? Of course. Yes. She she is just bringing up an idea that somebody might pick or she herself mm -hmm. might yeah. de develop because yeah. we don't we really have institutions that handle such for. issues. Mm -hmm. And these things happen in our societies like every other day. Teachers should stop degrading the name, the value, or how will I put it? Yeah, they, they are supposed to be living examples to these to kids. Out, yes, mm -hmm. to and Rita is just here. 17. And then she's not with, she's not that child that face easily. And then you're failing her and even bringing in other teachers to fail her is really bad. So yes. definitely, is, like Cindy said, we need associations to handle things yes, of that and, nature. And this is a message that we just received. Hi to you in the studio. My name is uh, Makavili. She should report to the teacher. Uh, she report the teacher to the police and we had the street point of view i like us to know that guy is a teacher and uh, he was interviewed by uh Eveline. Eveline. yes i was actually a fan of this program and she's our correspondent there in yaoundé she's a student in the uh, university of yaoundé one and uh, we had an interview uh, that's the street point of view send their children to school purposely because they want them to study and in school they teach both things the fact that teachers should go out there female students should school now students parents send their children to school purposely because they want them to study and in school they teach both educational education and morals morals are not supposed to talk only in the house but also in school and if teachers are, teach, are going out their female students to school what morals are they teaching their students how do they think they want the students to go on what are the things they want the students to learn now, the things taught in school should be part, should be, should be part, should be part of the things taught at home. Now, if the teachers are going out with their students or with their female students, okay, now, what are the type of things they are expecting their students to go up and teach their, their younger ones, to go up and teach their children, or to go up and teach their generation to, to come? Now, if we look at the world today, so many parents or so many parents or so many teachers want that things should change. Now, before you want that things to change, Look at yourself. Things must begin from you. Changes must begin from you. The changes doesn't begin from you, the world will not change. The changes doesn't begin from you, the people around you will not change. Now you must not teach only your children at home or only your parents at home. The, the students in school are still part of your responsibility for you to teach them. Thank you very much. I am against the fact that female teachers or male teachers should go out with their female students in school. Thank you very much. Thank you too. That was Ivelyn Loom. Thank you. That's a wonderful job. And that was the street point of view. If you want the world to change, start by changing your bad character. So uh, this goes uh, in line with our red card. So let's go to the third part of this show, the red card. <laughs> Okay, today I give or we give a red card to uh, sexual harassment, especially in our schools, in the workplace. And uh, we have a report, we have a report uh, done by Irene and uh, she will tell us more about what is sexual 
harassment. And I think we'll have a little debate about this. And when we come back, we shall read your text messages. Please, we know that you would like to participate, but don't call. Don't call. Send us text messages we're going to read. So let us have Irene's report on sexual harassment. And when we come, we shall give side notes about what this is all about. Let's have the report. Sexual harassment in the workplace is a form of discrimination and includes any universal comments, conduct or behavior regarding sex, gender or sexual orientation. The practice of this ad is mostly done by companies' heads who have taken it as a habit of killing the working spirit of many, especially the youth. Due to the global performance of this art, many international organizations have decided to put in laws to fight against such unlawful art. For instance, we have the European Union in their 2002 directive whereby they talk on the equal treatment of men and women in employment and recognizing such art as a form of discrimination. Also some countries like India, South Africa, just to name a few, have prohibited sexual harassment in the workplace, while some countries are still in the process of establishing such laws. Yes, that was Irene's report on sexual harassment. Uh, have you ever been sexually harassed? Hell See the at truth. School, at school. I'm coming. I'm coming to oh. you, boy. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> I haven't been sexually harassed in either ways, be it a beating, be it forced relationship. No, I've never been sexually harassed. Mm -hmm. What do you think about sexual harassment at the workplace? Seriously, it's especially a, this time where nowadays. Uh, uh, let, let me say it because that's the truth. Cameroon <laughs> is suffering with a uh, huge degree of unemployment, and people want to go out <laughs> to have jobs and girls like and go for internship. And sometimes it is the usually the case they are sexually harassed. At times, we only talk of sexual harassment, but we don't look at the cause. Mm -hmm. We girls tempt these guys to do whatever they are doing. So it shouldn't be a one-sided thing. Let's not keep blaming these guys and forgetting that we equally contribute. If you're going to look for a job and you all put your breast out in the name of a selling point or you're wearing something very short, what do you expect? Like I said on one of our episodes, these guys think with their waist and not with their head. Sorry, I said that again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> she said it He's again. talking about guys from a species of guys because I don't see myself into the bundle she has just chosen. So, uh, Cedric, sexual harassment. What is it? What do you think about? Not only women are being sexually harassed yeah, in the workplace, not... men too, and sometimes even at schools. I will not reveal it, but I, ha I always have very <laughs> terrible stories, and that I have one of these, but I will not tell it here because I don't want to hurt the person. <laughs> Even in the school, sometimes you have our teachers looking at us, a type, let me say it, a type. Women? Yes! Oh. Well, I've never seen one. But, uh, have you ever seen, have you ever been? I've never been harassed sexually. Do you want to be sexually harassed? Jesus. <laughs> Because like says, we're wait. thinking with our, <laughs> with our waist and not with our <laughs> brain and no, no. Uh, sexual violence is not a great thing. Like it's it is not, seen, up, it's not. It's not. It's not at all good because most is mostly women that are, are sexually harassed. Excuse but me, not it's not men. mostly women. Men are being harassed. Yeah, but mm, mostly. Yes. Yeah. When and I say if mostly, it's into the definition this, that I read. Like in this century, we are harassed. in men are more harassed than women. Even seriously, I don't know if it's that women have been so heartbroken that they have come of age that they now want to impose themselves on their kids in the name of relationships or what. But this is a century. Yeah. Young guys are more harassed mm -hmm. than the girls. Okay. Mara, mom, I don't know if because if I say, for example, a mom like an old lady like 45 years and all the rest she pays oh 45 is not old man yeah. <laughs> why do you want to hurt my mom no mom you're not 45 oh, oh i mean i mean a lady oh, out there yeah. 45 is not that old 
all is 100 years and not poor. No, 100 years, you should be praying that. Well, Thank God, God and so all the rest. It's old. It's old. Okay. As uh, was, you are, yeah, you as I was saying, say, yeah. uh, you, you have these moms paying guys to have some sex. Sexual I don't know services. If, yeah, sexual services. To me, I wouldn't call that sexual harassment because it's on the guy's approval. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's selling something. No, but how that can you say He's selling well, something. Supply. Yeah, the man yeah. supply. <laughs> okay. It's, that's why Rita is complaining in this situation. She would have slept with Mr. Abeso to get good marks, but she has refused. Mm -hmm. You yeah. understand? So she doesn't want to sell anything. She's not exchanging anything for anything. So if you're a young guy and you're exchanging... <clears throat> mm -hmm. with whatever the sugar mommies are to give you that's your business okay so welcome <laughs> to you guys and ladies who sexually harass your workers or students or even at home now we like this one good evening i think she should report because keeping it to herself is adding more pressure to herself and her happiness is held down that's uh radiant from bangui and uh we have another one coming have many of these uh, for me let's have first open up to her parents then uh, he'll be taken to jail we take the other one and this is surely going to be the last one because we have the news hi my name is sabrino from limbe my opinion is that rita should first report it to her parents and later report it to the school authority thank you for participating wherever you are you can do also short videos for your shout out yeah. you saw us we just did in the intro of this program uh don't uh leave your tv stay hook on your chair because after this, you will have the news. For most of you, is bye bye, and uh, bye -bye. we will thank. Have a uh, splendid weekend. Yes, and, and we don't forget, me. we are thanking Cindy Emade for making our time to be on our program, yeah. and don't miss that opportunity to be a part of a man for the weekend. If you are looking for a man <laughs> for the weekend, please. <laughs> that is you. Okay, that, that Where is will you be? We are going clubbing. This is Friday, and we're actually getting into the weekend. From us to you is bye bye. bye, -bye. She keep you to really share I see how you moving there You better just stay in line All I wanna do is just make you mine You make my heart beat like playing rhyme Now you wanna leave and say goodbye Africa lady You know say you drive me crazy I can't let you do me shady The things that you do don't face me Love them baby You know say you drive me crazy I can't let you do me shady The things that you do don't face me